Hello guys, Mr. Rossi1990 here, and this is episode 2 of my hybrid squad builder series, which I've just tied up. Last episode went down pretty well, it's a pretty pretty good team in my opinion. This one is another one which I enjoy playing with. I've had this one for a little bit of time actually, and I absolutely love it to be honest. Um, it's not like the best hybrid you ever see, of course that guy's in goal. No, we've got Buffon in goal here. He's just a solid goalkeeper. I'm sure you all are aware what Buffon can do. Picked him off 2,200 coins in formation again if these are overpriced. I had this one a while ago. I've, I've re-bought it since uh, the prices have changed. Um, I bought them all in formation. So if their prices look a bit weird, that is probably why you'll... Yeah, you all know about Buffon. His regular version. Didn't want to be forking out the coins to get his informed version or anything like that. Now, we've got a Serie A pairing in centre-back. We've got... This side is Cordoba. Of course, he is a Colombian centre-back for Inter Milan in Syria. Ah, uh, cost me 1,200 coins in formation, like I said. He is he's an amazing centre-back, to be honest. 81 pace, 76 uh, defending, 80 heading. Absolutely fantastic player across the board. And to partner him up, I bought the transferred Lucio. Just because I haven't tried him out yet. I've had, obviously, I know what he's like from his other version, the AC Milan version. Uh, Inter Milan version, sorry. But the... Um, Juventus version I haven't tried out yet. I know exactly the same stats, so I'm not expecting anything different. But I thought I'd give him a go just to see if there's anything different about him. I highly doubt it. But he's actually really good. He's a rock at the back. I've had him in a couple of my teams. Keelini was another option I could have had there. I think. But I, I've i got uh, Liga do Brazil right back, which is probably one of my favorite right backs in the game. I think he, in real life, he's actually transferred to Sevilla now, which could be interesting in the next Oma team. I've had him for ages. He has got 90 pace. The right back's a senior. Of course, his other stats aren't amazing, but he has four-star skills, which helps out a lot in defending. Now, this guy at left back is going to be another Serie A Colombian left back, which is um, Armero. I've not actually used him before. I've played two games of him so far, which is the two games I've played with this team so far. I'm going to play a few more after this game as well. Again, no clips at the end, unfortunately, guys, because my PVR is being shit. If you watch the LMA series... Um, I'm not sure when episode 4, whatever it is, is out, but actually cuts out halfway through, which is quite annoying. You'll see that I've got a little bit of blank thing saying PVR fail or something like that. So look out for that if you watch our LMA series. That is my PVR being a bitch. Just cuts out. You just see me carrying on speaking and as if all is well. But I don't realise when my PVR cuts out, I've got to turn it back on by the button on my laptop. Because I, I, I can't see my PVR. People who have PVR will know. It shines blue when it's recording. I can't see my PVR from where I sit to play the game so I'm not sure when it's blue or not I don't really pay attention to my laptop screen enough so I've got to kind of just hopefully guess when it turns itself off and switch it back on as quick as possible but yeah as you see Almero is our left back so I went off in a little bit there 85 pace not exactly the best player overall but he's just there for chemistry reasons and he's got decent decent pace there so that's amazing stuff now our centre mid in this side is going to be Ibarro or whatever he's called. Not sure how many skills he has. I don't think he's got many skills. I think it's like two or three star skills. But he's just at the 87 at pace guy. Normally a cam, I do believe. I try him out in centre mid. And he hasn't failed me yet. He's been absolutely amazing. He's got a really, really good long shot with him. Which was absolutely incredible. I'm not the best FIFA player in the world. I'm not exactly the worst either. But long shots is not really one of my specialities. And he was just smashing them in. Which I was quite happy with. Now the next player we have is a Liga do Brazil. Um... He's a bronze player, in fact, and he's this guy here, Strada. Now, you'll look at him and you'll think, what the hell are you doing? He is utter garbage, but trust me, he has something special to him. I'm not sure what it is. He's got 58 pace, which seems absolutely terrible. 73 dribbling. He's four-star skills, which helps out a lot, and I got him for 150 coins. I just had him for chemistry reasons, just because I thought I'll give a bronze player a try, see what he's like. He's, he was the only one on the market, picked up for 150 coins straight up. Seriously, guys. I don't know what it is, but I really like this guy. I scored an incredible goal with him. As you can see, that one goal he scored. He is left-footed, which is a different option from midfield. I'm not used to having centre midfield, which are left-footed. and be some right-footers. But, oh, my dear God, he scored a rocket from range. I think he might have, like, a long shot trait or something like that, but it's incredible. Haven't looked into his stats much, but he is four-star skills, which is quite nice. I really like that. Our next guy is this guy here, which is Valdiva. Which again, I'm I'm in love, I'm absolutely in love with this guy. I'm not even going to lie to you. He is incredible. I actually I didn't even realise he is a five star skiller. Now I I had no idea. I I didn't really pay attention to like the five star skillers apart from obviously the noticeable ones. But I didn't realise he was five star skills. He's from Chile. He's also in the Liga do Brazil for Palmeiras, which means he gets the perfect chemistry with the right back for same club. But 
He's not got amazing stats, you see there. He's only a 78 rated to be fair. He's not even a shiny. He's got the 86 dribbling, which is quite good. 70 um, pace. Also 76 at passing. He's originally a cam, I do believe. I got him in centre mid. I got him in centre mid for 400 coins. That was pretty intense. That was on an open bid. Some guys obviously failed there quite horribly. But I'll take advantage of that failing. Now, the next guy we have got in left mid. I can't actually remember what league he's from. Oh, there's Ronaldo. We got the inform James Rodriguez, who I don't believe, I d sorry, I do believe is free star skills, which is for some reason a bit of a letdown for some people. But I don't really mind it because, to be honest, I've got enough skillers in other teams. This isn't really a team which I'm going to be doing skills with. It's got a, it's got a really good attacker who can do skills and right wing who can do skills. I'm not going to lie to you there. My two favorite players in the game. But this guy isn't a skiller. He's more of a run down the wing. He's got a really good shot on him. He's left foot option at left wing. I know some people prefer the right foot option at left wing. So you can cut in and shoot or whatever. But he is the left foot option for left wing. He plays for Porto. He's in form, as I said. 18,000 coins for him isn't too bad at all, in my opinion. There wasn't many on the market. I'm not sure if he's rare or just somebody's price locking him or whatever. But there wasn't many at all on the market. But in right wing, we're going to have a silver. And it is going to be... Hopefully I don't have many of these. There he is. Danilinho, the non-informed version. I have the informed version, but of course he's not a right wing. He is a centre mid slash striker slash whatever the hell you want him to be. But I bought the right wing version here just for this hybrid. And oh my god, I forgot how good he actually was in right wing. I, I'm used to playing him centre mid. I'm sure you are aware of some of the uh, teams I've showed you where I've got him in centre mid. I love him there. I, I, I prefer him there because he's got, I think it's a high defensive work rate or something like that. So he's not a great striker to have. But as right wing, for some reason, he gets up and down the line like an absolute beast. He's obviously got the five star skills, which you all know about. He has also got 89 pace, 77 dribbling. So he is an absolute beast when it comes to that. And now the striker I've got. Just wanted to put him in this team, of course. It is Mykon Liete in form. I bought him when he was... Probably about a week into coming out, he cost me 1.25 million coins, which you might think is quite a lot. I don't know what he's going for anymore, but oh my god, I couldn't have asked for a better player. He is the best player on all my team, in my opinion, up there with the Ronaldo. But holy hell, he is incredible. 91 pace, 80 shooting, 84 dribbling. Absolute beast. Fits well in that team. Obviously, it's a pretty cheap team, apart from, of course the um free up top now the rest of them didn't exactly cost loads the right back's pretty expensive but i'm sure you could change in for pretty much anyone who plays in that league right back i'm not too sure what other options you've got but there's other options you can have up front instead of mike on liete i do believe if you wanted another little five star skiller you could have i don't think i've got him in formation let's just check this a minute it's um i've forgotten his name five star skill guy it's a Fluminense, is it? There he is, Rafael Sobis. You could have him up front. No, he's not in formation. So he's getting seven camps. I do believe if he has a right formation, he will get the nine cam for the perfect link with the right mid, uh, right wing. So that's a that's a cheaper option because, of course, he just costs... I got him in a pack, but he probably costs like a K in a good formation at most. I'm not really too sure what you go for at the moment. So really, it is quite a cheap team. If you look at some of the prices, I'll just go through them. 2,200. I'm not sure what his price is. He goes for quite a bit, I do imagine. Lucio is only 4,500. You could get the other version probably cheaper. 1,200 for Cordoba. We also got him for 600 coins. This guy here was 5,900, but that was in centre mid. You could always have him in cam and convert him yourself if you get lucky there. Again, this guy, 150 coins, absolute bargain. 400 coins, so one in centre mid there. Danilino will be the most expensive player. Oh, no, probably the informed guy actually saying that. 14,000 isn't exactly a lot in the game anymore. You can basically trade to that in a day quite easily. Sobis is cheap, and Rodriguez is the most expensive player, about at 18,750. So, to be honest, it's a pretty cheap hybrid team, probably a budget squad, you could say. And yes, yeah, so that's the end of this episode, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please do press that like button. It does help me out a ton. That would be absolutely amazing. And also, don't forget to um, comment and subscribe, of course. I'll be back some more of these soon if, soon if you enjoy it. So thank you very much, and bye.